Hey guys, this is Pro Gaming 2008 and welcome to a short video where I will show you the good upgrade for my main PC that is running Windows 11 Pro. So you might know that I told you uh, the specs earlier. It currently has a GTX 760 video card, which is pretty weak. And sadly, in most modern games, they either wouldn't launch or uh, we run into a GPU bottleneck, so I really wanted to upgrade to a decent video card and I found a uh, really good budget video card. We will have a look at the model and I got this from AliExpress for 140 euros, which is like maybe 150 dollars or less. I don't know exactly, but in here is an AMD GPU, not an NVIDIA GPU this time because I want to take advantage of Radeon Super Resolution and all of that. I will talk about that later in future videos. But anyways, here's the box. Let's look at the back. Uh, applied to desktops, two-year warranty, that's awesome. Uh, and that's uh, the address of Mills. And it was made in China, of course. So now let's open it without further ado. I found this thing here, here. Quality Assurance Card. Uh, thank you for choosing Emil's Graphics Card, Warranty Card, other about drivers, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> it mentions Pentium 4, Celeron, AMD, Athlon, Sempron, or above compatible processor. I don't know why it mentions the Pentium 4, this Celeron. <laughs> And it also mentions the RAM, DDR3 or DDR4, 2 gigabytes or above. And yeah, Windows 7 or 10, or even 11 for newer cards, 64-bit. Additional program, .NET 4.5, blah, 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 blah. So you download the official drivers depending on your graphics card model. We will have a look at the model when we open the video card here. And as expected, it is brand new. There's no scratches or anything. So let's look at the ports at the back. We have three display ports and HDMI. This is important because my monitor only has HDMI other than VGA. So, and the back is, uh, has a plastic cover, which is good to protect the uh, video card PCB. And yes, it is a AMD card. It's a Radeon RX 5500 XT with 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM. So I'm moving from 2 to 8GB of VRAM and I'm moving from GDDR5 to GDDR6. And it uses PCIe 4.0 and it has a single 8-pin power connector just like the GTX 760 and it consumes less power than the GTX 760. This card has a 130 watt TDP whereas the GTX 760 has a 170 watt TDP. So I can also do ray tracing with this video card because the GTX struggles with that. It struggles with, for example, Minecraft ray tracing. And I'm hoping that this card will be able to do ray tracing more than the GTX 760. And I can handle uh, modern games with this, like Assassin's Creed will launch on this video card, but it doesn't launch on the GTX 760. So there we go, guys. That's the unboxing of my new graphics card for my uh, new main PC running Windows 11. I'm hoping that you like this video. If you have other suggestions about upgrading my other builds, not just my main PC, but also my Windows XP PC, Windows 7 PC, Windows 2000 PC and all of that, please let me know. I want to know your feedback about anything on the channel. That would be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Stay safe. Peace. Bye.